And so when we commune, we already have this communication with him. Amen. We have already been in a place that we understand that we are in this place with us, connecting with him here. Hallelujah. But now this morning, we're in a room together where we keep the cross across because now we're horizontally lined up to do the same thing Amen. at the same time. Hallelujah. Only the covering of Christ. Amen? We take communion because he told us to. We are obedient when we take communion and we want to take it worthily. We want to know that we've done the right things in order to receive communion this morning. Amen? Amen. So praise God for the process. When I read 1 Corinthians 11.24, it says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, Take, eat, this is my body, for which is broken for you, for me. This do in remembrance of Christ, of me, he says. He says, this do, do this. This morning, you will be doing exactly what he asked us to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And then in, in observing the communion, we're remembering Christ that all he has done in his life, his death, and his resurrection. Amen? So we honor Christ for that in our position to take communion this morning. He says, in remembrance of me, right now, there's nothing else that should be on our minds. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Right now, we should be worrying about how long this is going to take, why I'm up here, Amen. how long he's going to take to get healed, Amen. everything that's going on throughout our mind. We don't have time for that this morning. We're supposed to have our minds on Christ. Amen? Amen. We're communing with him at this time. Amen? Amen? We observe communion because we are to examine ourselves. Corinthians 11.28 says, let a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Saints, right now, the examination is allowing us a time to repent. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Repent. So we can just close our eyes and take a few seconds and just ask God to give us that gift of repentance. Hallelujah. And then we say, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of repentance. And observing communion, we are proclaiming his death until he comes back. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we, we, that's our faith to believe that he's Amen. coming back to get us. Amen. Hallelujah. And that we have this participation in the body of Christ. It says in 1 Corinthians 10, 16, 17, it says, The cup of the blessing which we bless is it not of the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread of which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? We are being many of one bread and of one body. We are all partakers of this one bread. Saints, this morning we're communing together. But we cannot take this bread or this cup if we have a lack of forgiveness in our hearts. We can't do it. He said, leave your gift at the altar. Christ don't want it. Yeah. And this communion is not about what he or she or did or said. It's about him. Amen. So let's take a second or two to forgive somebody for something. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you have truly forgiven a situation in your life at this moment, Holler up and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. This comes with our bread and our wine. The bread symbolizes life. We have eternal life in Christ Jesus this morning. Yesterday was yesterday, but today, right now, we have eternal life. Hallelujah. And you know, this wine is such a blessing to us. Why? Because it's the covenant of his blood. Ain't nobody shed nothing up in here. Nobody could ever do what he's done. He did it 2,000 years ago, but guess what? It still remains the same. He is the same yesterday, today, and always. Hallelujah. He has shed his blood for us. Amen? Amen. But as we are eating, in Matthew 26, he says, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body. Pastor James, would you? Bless the bread, please. The body that represents, excuse me, the bread that represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Father, we just thank you right now. We thank you, God, for each and every one of us on Calvary's cross, Lord God. And as we take the elements, Lord God, knowing that it represents the willingness that it is that you lay down for each and every one of us, Father God, we're just asking for complete healing 
restoration and salvation, Father God, in our lives right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we eat? Amen. And he took the cup and gave thanks, and he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Pastor Richie, would you bless our wine, please? Father, we realize that this is the blood that was shed for us, God, and you said as often as we do it, do it in remembrance of you, Lord, we are not unaware, God, of the price that you paid. Father, we're not unaware of what you gave for us. And so, Father, we thank you, God, for the representative of the covenant that you made with us for eternal life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Shall Father. He says, drink ye all of it, amen.